And now that we're finished with the Dark Angel, we can start a new book. It's going to be the third in the five-book series of The Dark is Rising, Green Witch by Susan Cooper. And let's read the description. Simon and Jane and Barney come to Truissic in Cornwall, enlisted by their mysterious great-uncle Mary to help rescue a priceless golden grail stolen by the forces of evil, the Dark. They are not at first aware of the strange powers of another boy brought to help, Will Stanton, nor do they realize the sinister significance of the Green Witch, a traditional image of leaves and branches that for centuries the women of Truissic have made each spring and cast into the sea for good luck in fishing and harvest. But this is the time of the Green Witch's making, a night-long ceremony that June is allowed to witness in mingled fear and pity, and it shapes all the events to fo that follow. In a series of disturbing and sometimes dangerous incidents, the children discover the whereabouts of the stolen grail. The Green Witch, possessed of a dreadful, vengeful power, is called from the ocean depths by the dark, and its wild magic is loosed over the land. Yet, because of Jane's pity, the Green Witch makes to, makes to her a strange gift that, for a time at least, will keep the dark from rising. Green Witch is the third of five books in Susan Cooper's memorable sequence, The Dark is Rising, its central theme, supported by legends from the myth-haunted West Country of England, is that the earth, a force of nature, of the dark nor the light, of the dark, nor the light, nor of men. And we will start that very shortly. <laughs>